Привет! Hello! I'm Yulia. I'm from Russia. I'm an English teacher in China. So, hi Yulia. Do you know like about the double reduce policy? Yes, I've heard about this because recently everybody's talking about this a lot, a lot. And this is the topic which bothering a lot of people, the whole foreign community here in China. <laughs> What kind of policy is it exactly? Well, as far as I know, the double reduce policy basically means that the government wants first to reduce the pressure from kids actually because they go to school or kindergarten and they attend thousands of extra curriculum uh, classes like basketball, dancing, art class, music class, all in one day, <laughs> and then English class in addition, uh, which gives them a lot of pressure. And the second thing, they want to make all the commercial schools, like private schools, uh, into non-profit organizations for parents uh, not to pay so much money for extra education. So do you think what kind of influence will have if the government cracks down all this training school and then after school tutoring? If the government shuts down all the training centers and private schools, people are gonna lose their money. A lot, a lot, because the after school education is so expensive, extremely expensive. And at this point, I understand that the government wanna help uh, families want to help people who do not have such money, you know, but on the other hand, people who have money, why should they not uh, buy the classes for their kids, right? This is a tricky thing, uh, but it's going to reduce the pressure on kids, that's for sure. I believe that like uh, their classes is an after school classes or after kindergarten classes which basically start from 6 p.m. 8? 8.30 8.30 The class length is 90 minutes They have two sessions 45 minutes each or 40 minutes each It doesn't really When I've been studying university my class was 80 minutes and 10 minutes break in between and here they give 90 minutes class for five years old which is ridiculous and including weekends including vacations including everything because people don't want to lose their money so they put the classes where kids are free but you know kids free time is their free time they can spend this time for something they really want to do they like to do so do you have any foreign friends losing their job in China due to this new policy? Mm, not really. I do not uh, have friends who lost their jobs already, but I have uh, friends who wanted to find another job, like they're transferring from school to school. And um, first, the training center told them, yes, we hire you. But then after this policy came out, they just could not. And is it counted as losing jobs? <laughs> kind of, yeah, kind of. So do you think if the new policy will affect you and your school? For me personally, I don't think so. I don't think so because I'm working in a public kindergarten and our program is not like teaching, teaching. It's more like a foreign language integrated into the environment and in our kindergarten the class length is uh, 30 minutes top so do you think i mean personally do you think if this new policy good or not or what's your opinion about it i hope it works it's gonna be really good because i really hope that kids especially here in china they're gonna have a happy childhood and i just hope that they're gonna do what they really love to do what they really like to do. I really hope that parents also, they not going to put their own dreams and ambitions on their kids' shoulders and they would talk more with their kids and they would ask their kids like, hey baby, what you want to do, what you like? Maybe they do not like English. Maybe they do not want to play basketball. 
right? So don't put this pressure on your kid and let them be happy and healthy mentally also because like when kids is studying 24 7 it's not very healthy for them so yeah that's okay. what i think okay thank you Yay.